Hello and welcome to Mangley Town. Right, I have a little treat for you today. Not only do I have an original 2016 Rapido Trains APTE, but also now have the two brand new What If liveries. So we're going to take a look at these. So if you don't already know, someone at Rapido Trains was playing around on the computer and thought, I wonder what the APT would look like if it entered service in BR, blue, grey, yellow and intercity liveries. He played around with it and the company really liked the results that I'm guessing in decision on whether to do a second production run or not, that splitting some of the production run into these two liveries would make it more cost effective. Um, so that's given us these two new liveries. I was also lucky in a way I didn't actually see the social media um, hoo-ha about it where it was actually made news on the 1st of April so everybody assumed it was an April Fool's joke. Luckily I'd received a couple of emails on it, got straight on to my local shop Kent Garden Rail to get my order in. I was able to order everything apart from the Intercity Extra Coach but I was also lucky that I was early enough I was able to get one of the Hatton's allocation so that's got me all four pieces now these aren't cheap but knowing from the original 2016 one i know they're very well made they are a beautiful train so i took the decision although it would skip me a little bit if i wanted them if i didn't get them now then i possibly never would knowing the resale prices that the original 2016 model had gone for the the two train sets here are limited to a production run of 200 each. I don't know the figure on the two coaches yet, but I've not seen any coaches available other than the shop's pre-orders, which all got sold out for when the stock came in. So it was definitely a case of now or never to get the coaches for me. Um, if you're lucky, there's still some shops and Rapido Trains UK Direct uh, still showing stock available. Also, if you want to follow them on social media, they are on most social media as Rapido Trains UK, but this isn't in any way sponsored by them. As normal, I'd just like sharing with you what I've got in my collection. So we'll get these opened up and take a better look. First of all, what's in the box other than the train? We well, get four cut down diagrams of all the parts, some stickers, also a smaller reprint, I'm guessing, of the original instruction book. You get the connectors or the covers for where they connect. And it also appears to be plenty of spares as well. So we'll have a quick look at the original model. And then we'll actually get these out of the packet and see what they look like on the track. So if you've not seen it before, here's the original 2016 livery. Obviously the power car. That's actually the extra coach, which I believe is pretty much a duplicate of the main passenger coach you get with the set. And then you have the one with all the computer banks in, which is really cool because there's lights in there that light up as well. And then back down to the other power car. And this is the sound fitted version as well. Both the two new sets are the fully DCC sound fitted as well. They haven't given any other option on those ones, which isn't a bad thing because it's nice to have the sound on it. I must say, I haven't connected this together properly. They can be a bit fiddly. Also another disclaimer, disclaimer as I haven't done much updating for a little while, moved recently and haven't actually got anywhere to put the original Mangley Town layout due to lack of room. So I won't be able to run these at the moment, but hopefully sometime in the near future, I will be getting some smaller layout done. So at least I can run trains again, certainly for YouTube. And so here we have the BR Blue Grey livery. And I must say, it does look gorgeous. Again, I haven't connected these up as tight to make the connections, so they would look better than this when put on the layout. They would be 
slightly tighter fitting. And again, you have the extra coach in the middle. It does say you can put the extra coach anywhere in the running order. And this time we have the back side of the computer banks, but they are just the same in there as on the original. So it's only really the decoration that has changed on this. And obviously some different highlights, like white pipes or out on the bogies. As before they weren't in white on the original model but it does look lovely and it does make a decent length train as well so that's the pair of them together top detail again is just the same on the original I'm guessing they haven't tweaked with the mouldings at all just as I say the actual livery decoration so now we'll see how the city one looks next to those two and let's hear it for inner city swallow again it does look gorgeous I will do my best to get the new layout up and running because I think these all deserve to have all three go around the layout at the same time. And even just lined up here, they do look a good little collection. hope to be doing something of at least three track oval but obviously only slight issue with these is that overhang on the nose is managing to get it in with three ovals so obviously they've looked at how the two liveries would have been because obviously in the city in that style of styling um, with the APTE designation and then definitely on the inner city swallow. Definitely gotta say, if you're into fast passenger trains like I am, you definitely should have at least one of these in your collection. At least one advantage with the new release is you haven't got to pay quite so much now for the new release of the original model as opposed to what the second hand or resale prices are but i just know the resale prices on these two in a year or so i reckon is going to go through the roof obviously i've got the extra coaches haven't seen any extra coaches online other than the pre-orders from the main shops looks like they've all gone already so already if any of those get put on ebay or anywhere they are going to be a colossal price well i hope you've enjoyed a look at those three i've certainly enjoyed finally getting a chance to get them out of the box and as i say they do look absolutely gorgeous lined up together and hopefully I'll have a layout up and running soon, but if not, hopefully I can get back onto doing some unboxings and showing you some more of my collection. Hope to see you all soon. Thank you.